Uh, my name is Adrian Boswell. I'm 66 and I'm from London and I used to be a chef at the Savoy and the Ritz. Firstly, the broccoli is one of the most healthiest vegetables you can eat and also it looks like a tree. So when I left chefing, after cooking broccoli 150 different ways and losing the passion for chefing, I did a picture called Broccoli Jungle, this one. Mm -hmm. And um, it, the broccoli looks like a tree, which is why I put it in the broccoli jungle. But since um, I've been doing the broccoli, I've sensationalized the broccoli, turned it into a piece of popular art, uh, which is what Andy, Andy Warhol didn't think about. Uh, but I've made broccoli cool again. So from this, it became my street art. When I say street art, I used to go Tesco's, buy real broccoli, cut it in half, spray it with gold paint, and I put 800 real broccolis all over Brick Lane. Uh, sadly, guys used to come out the pub, either drunk, stupid, or very hungry. They ate the rancid poisonous broccoli off the wall. A few people ended up in hospital, seriously ill. The NHS contacted the council and said, tell Mr. Broccoli Man, no more real broccoli is going to kill someone. So then I created the plaster of Paris moulds and I put these up everywhere in London, became known as the Broccoli Man. And then three and a half years ago, some Chinese girls came in Brick Lane and they said, we lost our friends and found them by following the lovely broccoli trail on the wall. So they said, we want to buy the street art. I said, no, street art not for sale. One of the girls started crying and I said, okay, come back next week. I'll put a bit of broccoli in a frame for you. They took them back to China, put them on social media. Within one month, I was selling 100 broccolis every week all over the world. Then it was 200, then 300, then 400. So now I've sold over 30,000 broccolis in a frame in three and a half years. Well, street art is very versatile. And not only that, but it's um, it's like Brick Lane. Brick Lane is a gallery to to, to tourism, to everyone who enjoys art, but, uh, but don't get the time to go to galleries and things like that. So street art has a way of uh, inspiring people, seeing it on the wall, and they could be walking towards their job or just uh, coming around, having a nice day out, and you don't specifically have to go to a gallery, and uh, it's sort of free art, and it's beautiful art. I think all art uh, makes a difference to society um, and all artists work is different so no two artists come from the same uh, viewpoint whether they come from a spiritual way or whatever energy you come from it all makes sense you know all art there's no such thing as bad art all art is good yeah